I want to share with you how to make uh, an easy tea to make that has got a really really good health benefits to it uh, if you don't want to get colds and flus most likely you won't get any with um, either olive leaves or with oregano leaves made into teas or tinctures and stuff so right here I got about a half a dozen olive leaves I washed these off and dried them out in the oven at 180 degrees yesterday you don't want to get the water over 180 or the oven when you dry them out you don't want to air dry them because too much of the medicine in the plant um, dissipates with air drying but with heat drying it's okay so what I do is I just kind of crunch them up a little bit okay um, like that and then I just use my hand I don't want to put them in a grinder because that makes them into a powder if I make them into a powder then I put them into capsules uh, and I do that too sometimes anyways um, then take it and you don't have to put it in a strainer usually I don't but for this demonstration I am now I put the water in here from the hot water dispenser the ones like in the house is usually about 185 degrees so it's pretty close this water has been sitting a couple of minutes now I'm gonna put that in there in uh, about 10 minutes this tea is gonna be ready also put coconut oil in doesn't matter if it's refined or unrefined um, it's full of ketones which feeds your brain your brain needs either glucose or ketones all right so when people get dementia they can't get enough like glucose to the brain cells right well they can with the ketones so what the coconut oil can do by itself um, it can clear up to 52 percent of dementias and Alzheimer's up just by itself um, doesn't mean it's going to do all of them and then just put that into your tea and melt that up then the olive leaf tea and uh, uh, olive extra virgin olive oil from California helps too that helps remove um, free radicals from your brain um, also helps out your uh, pancreas to produce the insulin hormone and it does many many other things it's a, a really really strong antiviral and has other properties you can look them up if you want I've talked about this before um, you can put some honey in it if you want or lemon whatever um, but if you don't want to get a lot of colds and flus and things like that Either use some oregano or some olive leaf, make yourself up a tea and give yourself a good chance of fighting off those viruses and colds. If you do have a cold or a virus, um, probably the oregano would be easier on your stomach because you pretty much have to have food in your stomach until you get used to the olive leaf tea uh, to take um, and drink olive leaf tea. Um, so it's really easy to make. 10 minutes, 180 degrees. You can use fresh, uh, fresh leaves or you can dry them up. That's it. Bye.